Good morning. Welcome to Can Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. At 10 o'clock every weekday, a staff member or volunteer will be here to share an object from our collection, so join us for each new conversation. My name is Betty, and I'm a museum docent. And if you haven't been to the museum lately, we have many new things to show you, but we have also moved some old favorites around. For example, when you enter the American galleries, you'll now find Randolph Rogers' The Last Arrow in the middle of the room, dramatically presented up on a pedestal. Rogers was an American sculptor of the mid-19th century. While he was working as a store clerk, his employers learned of his artistic talent and paid his fare to go to Italy to study. He found his calling as a sculptor and worked in Italy for the rest of his life. But his neoclassical work was quite popular with American collectors. His masterpiece is the great bronze Columbus doors on the east front of the U.S. Capitol, showing scenes from the life of Christopher Columbus. I love The Last Arrow for two reasons, its raw emotion and its technical skill. When you first view it, the characters seem obvious, two American Indian warriors and a horse. But then we are taken in by the sense of emotion and movement. The horse is rearing, its eyes rolling, and its mane and tail flowing. Look at the tension on the rider's face. There is desperation and bravery. Can you imagine the amazing skill it would take to ride a running horse bareback while turning to shoot an arrow behind you? The sculpture makes us want to know more of the story. Who is the enemy chasing this pair? The title, The Last Arrow, tells us that they are out of ammunition. Is it a moment of crisis? perhaps unlikely to end well for the two men. But I also mentioned the technical skill shown by Rogers. The Indian garb, reins, bow and arrow have great detail. But did you notice the way the artist balances the rearing horse so it doesn't topple over? If you look carefully, you can see that the raised arm of the fallen Indian touches the horse's side serving as an anchor for the entire piece. Rogers worked out the proportions carefully by creating a smaller model, now in the Metropolitan Museum. So my question today is this. Rogers is showing us the climax of the two warriors' story. What do you think happens next? How would you finish the story? Do you think this warrior was successful with his last arrow? Add your thoughts in the chat below.